Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Colleagues, Senate Bill 421B, or sorry, 241B, dyslexia kicking in late in the day, establishes a Bill of Rights for children of incarcerated parents and requires the Department of Corrections to use the guiding principles of the Bill of Rights in the development and implementation of its policy procedure and procedural decisions. The Bill of Rights includes rights related to maintaining relationships between parents and children, informing and caring for children during a parent's incarceration, consideration of a child's wishes in decision-making processes, and maintaining a relationship and contact with parents during inc incarceration. The Department of Corrections is directed to work with, the, with an existing body, the Governor's Reentry Council, to develop these guidelines. The bill passed unanimously in the Senate and out of the House Judiciary Committee. Colleagues, I, I want to also say that children of, of incarcerated parents are just are the ones that they struggle the most. They are, they are, in a sense, the silent victims of a crime. Their, their rights are not often considered. Where they want to be, how they get to see their parent, if they get to see their parent, are not often considered. I think this is a, a very, very important step in helping children of incarcerated parents to, to have a say, at least in some small way, about how their lives come out. We often talk about at-risk children, part of their risk factor is having a parent in prison. We know that's a huge issue. It's so very, very important for these children to have some right to say what happens in their lives as well. I urge an I vote.